one of our power primers. What we're gonna do is an overhead medicine ball slam, three sets of eight. The reason we wanna do one of these exercises, we get activated, we can fire up your central nervous system. We can start to activate what we call fast twitch muscle fibers. As we get older, we tend to lose fast twitch muscle fibers. These are the ones that are most prone to growth, also generating high amounts of force and even speed. One reason that you hear people losing a step or losing power as they get older. So we're gonna do three sets of eight, about 45 seconds rest. The important thing to focus on here is I'm not doing them as fast as I can, I'm doing them as hard as I can. So treat each rep as its own focused set, reset, and maximize the amount of force you're putting into every single rep. We're doing an overhead slam because that's gonna force us to fire up our lats, which of course, we're gonna be training on pull day. Before you go any further, it's 100% crucial that you watch the rest of this video and hit subscribe now. Woo! Those overhead slams are actually really deceptive on your abs because you're forcing yourself not to bend over with it. It's an anti-flexion based exercise. So your abs can get incredibly strong when you're doing those overhead slams. Now, the second exercise, the primary focus we're gonna have here is gonna be a trap bar bent over row. As you'll see with the trap bar, based on the weight's position, it's closer or in line with the middle of your body. When you use a typical barbell row, which can be a great exercise if you don't have fucked up back, well, this is gonna keep you more in midline, right? A bent over row, because the bar's in front of your torso, it's gonna put more shearing stress on your spine. If you have anything less than ideal form, that can be a big red flag and lead to some back issues. So, with the trap bar row, we're gonna do two ramp up sets of 10 and then three work sets of six to eight reps where we increase the load on each and every single set. Now, this is something that we like to focus on with all of our coaching programs that a lot of people struggle with. They're like, hey, it takes me a little bit to warm up. How should I do it? Add one or two warm up sets before your main lift, then gradually ramp up, whereas those last one to two sets should be near failure, near to the point you can no longer maintain technique while optimizing that muscular contraction. Let's do it. Our first work set on the trap bar bent over row, we're gonna be at 165, then we're gonna jump to 185. After that, we're gonna be either at 195 or 205, depending on how that goes. Let's do it. One of the most important things when you're setting up for a bent over row or any type of hip hinge exercise is to really focus on getting into the right body position. Because if you don't, the bar is going to drift away from you and that's when people end up getting hurt on exercises like deadlifts and bent over rows. Now, here's what I like to focus on. When you're getting set up, keep soft knees and your entire focus is on putting your butt backward. And then your arms just hang. Right? All the movement has to come directly from pushing your butt backward behind you. So very little knee flexion, butt back, tabletop position, then arms are hanging straight down. If you cannot hold that position with the weight that is in your hands, you are too heavy. You gotta be able to dial it back down, build that inherent trunk stability so you can do these exercises safely without jacking up your back. Woo! Now we are cooking. It is a 100 degree heat index in here. We had a ton of rain, so incredibly humid. So, grip strength, sweat might be an issue. We'll see if that happens. Moving on directly from the bent over trap bar row, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over and do a chin up. I've got the angles 90 grips. These allow a free range of motion, which keeps your elbows, wrists, and shoulders healthier than just using a straight bar. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do four sets of six to eight reps. This is that sweet spot for building strength and muscle, particularly if you are natural. And so what I'm gonna do on each set, we're gonna start body weight, and then gradually I'm going to increase the resistance on each and every single set. Now, specifically to hit my back, I'm gonna go a little bit wider on my grip. When I do so, I'm gonna focus on driving my elbows down. If you use that cue, driving your elbows down on a pull up, pull down, pull down type exercise, you're really gonna to start to feel those lats fire up much more effectively. In addition, we're gonna take three to four seconds on the eccentric tempo on each and every set. 
By the time we get to that final, that fourth set, we're gonna be working towards muscular failure. I wanna be able to not get any more reps on that final set. All right, check it out. So on that set, I hit all eight reps, meaning I have one set left, and because I hit all eight, I can attempt to bump up that weight. So we're gonna go to 45 pounds, and as long as I get six, I'm happy. If I can get eight clean next week, I'm gonna bump up. I call that my plus two, minus two progression method. If you give yourself a rep range, it allows you to auto-regulate based on how you're feeling on any given day. When you learn this skill, it gives you a very simple way to start progressing your exercises, start progressing your weights for consistent gains. Last set, now we're getting serious. Now here's an important cue when you are doing a pull-up. A lot of people will just do a pull-up trying to get their head and their chin over the bar, hence the name pull-up or chin-up, right? Well, a better way if you really want to focus on your back is while you're driving those elbows down, imagine trying to get your upper chest up towards the bar. So you're kind of arching up. It doesn't necessarily matter that you get your head over the bar or anything like that because what can happen especially if you have poor shoulder mechanics, people get over the top and then they over pull. The arm starts to, starts to go back here. And what happens in that case? Well, the shoulder, your humerus, the big bone in your upper arm, jams forward into that shoulder socket and can go into what we call anterior humeral glide. This can create some shoulder pain, shoulder impingement, so on and so forth. So just because it's a back exercise doesn't mean it's always great for shoulder health, particularly if you over pull at the top and try to make the exercise all about getting your chin over the top of the bar. If you want to lose fat and build muscle, the number one thing you need to do, join our Look Great Naked protocol. Head to the link below, book your transformation call, and hit subscribe. So far, we've had our explosive exercise to fire up our CNS. We had a heavy compound exercise, both with a horizontal pull on the trap bar row and the pull up, right? So now what we're gonna do is we are going to shift things a little bit because that fatigue has begun to set in. Because force capabilities are no longer as high as they were when we were fresh in the workout, now we're gonna start chasing the pump a little bit more. So I'm gonna do a chest supported row. A chest supported row is an incredible exercise because it allows you to focus on your back muscles without cheating, without having a ton of additional stress on your lower back. To spice it up a little bit, we're gonna take the 10-6-10 method, which I learned from Coach Paul Carter. Now, what does the 10-6-10 method look like? The 10 in 10-6-10 is a 10 second isometric hold. When we do this, we can improve our mind-muscle connection to our lats, to our traps, to our rhomboids to build your back that much better. If you can't feel a muscle contract, you're gonna have one hell of a time making it grow. So this 10-6-10 method is incredible for just that reason. So it's gonna be a 10 second hold. Then the six is six reps with a six second eccentric. So you are lowering those weights under control. And then finally, the 10, the final 10, we should be completely smoked at this point, right? So what we're gonna do is gonna be 10 partial reps, smooth and under control. I should reach muscular failure here once again. We're gonna do this three times, increase the loading if we can on each set. We'll be off to the races. coming in, we're feeling pretty good. Fatigue is also setting in because we're through a number of exercises. So, because that fatigue is set in, now we're gonna actually move over to the cable machine. So, what I have here, rep, functional trainer. If you have a lat pull down of any type, it's gonna be a better option than this, but working out in the garage gym. And so what I'm gonna do is a seated isodynamic lat pull down. Isodynamic has a couple parts. So, the iso is, I'm gonna pull down on one side, that's the ISO. The other limb is going to be dynamic, right? So it's going to be a pull down here, pull down, build mind muscle connections, start building some fatigue. This side, we'll do 10 to 12 reps, and then we're going to switch 10 to 12 reps. The goal here is not to chase the heaviest weight possible. As you can see, right, fatigue's already set in, the pump is here, now I'm looking to push as much blood directly into those muscular tissues as I can to take advantage of metabolic stress 
to further drive muscle growth, all right? We're gonna keep the rest period short. Once again, it's three by 10 to 12 reps. Once we do that, 45 to 60 seconds rest between those sets. exercise for today. It's called a rear delt swing. You see a lot of people have very well developed anterior delts and then even that medial delt but where people tend to lag is that rear delt. That's what's going to help give that overall 360 cannonball delt look and really cap off your physique. So a rear delt swing. What we're going to do here, this is actually a cheat type of rep. I picked this up from coach John Meadows. So what we're going to do, we're going to lie face down on a bench on an incline and the range of motion is going to be very short. You see, one of the biggest mistakes people make when they train their rear delts is when they come back, they focus on actually squeezing their shoulder blades together, really retracting their scapula. When this happens, we actually take stress off of the rear delt and we put it directly on your traps and on your rhomboids. Not to say that's a bad thing, but if you're really trying to isolate and focus in on those rear delts, what we want to be able to do is focus on keeping those arms straight and not going to the point where we are squeezing our shoulder blades together. We're gonna do these for very high reps. I like to do burn up sets of 30 to 50 reps. If you wanna use straps on this, that is completely fine. It's an incredible exercise to leave the gym with an incredible pump and do so in a very joint friendly manner. enjoyed that pull workout. As you can see, training can be very simple yet incredibly effective. This is only really five focused exercises that we took you through this entire time. This entire workout took me about 46 minutes, right? So not a ton of time, but when you know how to program things correctly, gradually sequencing your exercises and moving towards that metabolic stress after hitting the weights heavy, then you can look great naked without living in the gym. And now, if you want to see more videos like this, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button on the very bottom of this video. And if you could, drop me a comment. If you have any questions about the exercises, the progressions, or anything in that realm, that's the exact place to do it. Because when I hear more from you, guess what? It helps me know how I can best help you with your training. And finally, if you want me to design all of your workouts, help you get into the best shape of your life without living in the gym, head over to bachperformance.com backslash call, which is also available in the show notes or the caption below. Do you find this helpful? If so, pound that like button and hit subscribe. Now, if you want a free copy of our chiseled muscle cheat sheet, the no BS way to help you lose body fat and build lean muscle in 90 days, make sure that you go to the description below and download your free copy. Any questions, drop them in the comments and can't wait to see you with the next video.